Hey YouTube, this is Marcus or Garrowin again with another video. Today I am going to cut some trees. I'm going to show you why. Basically, I did not anticipate that these would be an issue when we were planting the house here because when, when we were moving the house in, all I was really thinking about was the trees that would be a danger to the house. And I never thought about trees that would be a danger to this wire because the wire from this pole to this one basically everything after this pole including this wire uh, I am responsible for now the, the power company supplied this wire the first time but if a tree falls on it and tears it down I am responsible for the replacement and I was responsible for paying for the box and the pole and you guys saw that in the, the video series I did and I've got a handful of trees up here that I am a little concerned about. There's a beech tree right there and this little tree. And I want to cut these while they're small enough now that I can uh, manage them by myself and just shove them where I want them to fall and not worry about them hitting that power line. Because if I let them go another 10 years or so, They'll be too big for me to just shove, and I'll have to chain and winch them and hope for the best. And um, if you can see this one here, this whole hillside is rock. And so even though down here the wind actually goes the opposite direction, the wind actually goes from east to west down here in this holler, uh, as opposed to west to east up on the ridges. Uh, so, I mean, it would be blowing the tree toward the hillside but I'm more concerned about if we had a, a heavy rainfall and it just uprooted itself uh, and decided to fall and tear my wire down because this stuff ain't cheap. I paid three dollars a foot for the stuff that goes from here into the breaker box in the house. So I don't even really wanna, you know, I'm gonna guess this is at least that plus the, uh, the steel cable that's holding it up and that's roughly 80 feet of that so we're talking two hundred and forty dollars not counting the steel cable to replace that so let me get uh, I got some other chores to take care of and then we'll get up here with the chainsaw and get some stuff taken care of there's a few more I want to cut we had that hillside cleaned off back to the big trees back in 2002 after our house burnt we put this place down here when I was a kid but it's been about 15 years we got a whole bunch of them that are small enough that I could handle them by myself but you know they're getting tall enough now to where they would hit the house so I'm gonna go ahead and get them cut before they're big enough to do damage and too big for me to manhandle by myself alrighty so since we've got the rock cliff on this side it seems my only option is to clean this brush out from behind it I don't need to notch it it's small enough I believe I can just start cutting it from this side and just shove it and just push on it and just shove it this direction and I mean it might, it might hit that guy wire there but that thing's 18 inches with a expanding bit into that side rock cliff so it ain't going nowhere if the top limbs of this little thing hit it. Here is I, here's what I was talking about with most of this. See this, this whole hillside the rock? Watch right here. You can see that the root system is just just under the, the surface for most of these. You know, now that I'm up here looking at it, I don't believe I could shove this by myself hard enough for it not to hit these wires. Part of the reason being, all of this stuff that's higher up and bigger than this has shaded this to the point that almost every single one of the limbs are on this side of the tree and so even if I do start cutting from this side when it starts getting weak it's naturally going to want to lean this direction and I don't think I'd be able to overcome that by myself so I'm gonna go get a winch and a chain see about winching it toward that tree right there. Our chains and binders. 
I won't be using the binders because I ain't got nothing up here that big I'm cutting. I'm really just, I just need something to give it a little bit of motivation to go where I want it to. All right, so I had to come back down here to get the camera anyway, so I figured I might as well get this last chain. I don't think we'll need it. I think between the two I've got and the length I'm able to, I'll be able to pull out of the, uh, the come along, I think we'll have enough. But, just in case. You know, I fucking hate cutting trees when I gotta bind them. I don't mind cutting them if I can just push them or just let them fall where they ever want to fall. But I don't know how much they get paid, but I sure as hell hope people that do this for a living get paid a lot of money. It's wanting to split up the middle, and I don't feel like getting hit in the face with a tree, so if it's far enough through now, I could probably just pull it on over. Or at least get it to finish doing whatever it's going to do here. There she goes. Oh lordy, you know, I bet you, I could probably kick this thing off that splinter and not have to risk standing under it with a chainsaw. Not quite. It's on there pretty good. <sighs> Motherfucker. I just got to get the chains off of it. And... <sighs> well, the truck ain't here, so I can't just drag it off the hill, so I guess I'll just start cutting limbs off of it and carry it down the hill a piece at a time. Another day of tree cutting. Let's get her going. Alrighty, so today's target is the beech tree. It's the next one that's tall enough where it might hit these wires if it fell. It's on top of the rock. And we're just going to winch it up to this tree right here and pull it that way keep it away from these wires so I st I've got the winch already hooked up to this one I just gotta chain this one and get to work
know I put a lot of effort into winching it. I think I'm going to winch it to that one. This one, looking at it from here, it's almost lateral. And it could go that way a pretty good distance before it ever caught on this chain. This one's farther up the hill and would catch it sooner if it tried to go that toward you. <laughs> I was sitting in the corner on the fourth bow, waiting because I'd gotten shot a few times. Yeah. And I'd walk around the corner, I'd sit there and reload it, and I'd wait till I got a real, uh, you know, just a pretty good rate of health point last night where the door opens, and I'd been waiting on somebody to come through there. The door just kind of creeped open to the next one. I guess it's one of the things you found. And I just immediately throw a dynamite stick. And then I guess that was the, the point where everybody's like, this guy knows what he's doing. Let's go there. And but there's like four guys all spot on. There's one dude as he walks through the door. And you see the other teammates just kind of whoop, 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 out. And some of the support, like you can see two or three or four guys going up front. But you see nothing but assault guys up front, tanks, planes, it doesn't matter what's coming around. If you hear a point of enemy, you down. get in front of the door, you dumbass. <laughs> Usually they fucking to listen to me. That's another reason I kind of want a PC, that way I can call them. <laughs> way up here. I ain't cutting that damn thing up into logs. It's attached to the stump so it ain't gonna go nowhere. It can sit up here and rot and act as field dirt. Nobody walks around on this slope anyway except to cut brush because it's so steep. I've had some close calls cutting trees before. I have literally had limbs brush my back as I ducked underneath the trunk of trees before. Because sometimes they let loose when you least expect it, and when they're coming, they're coming. So, there's another day taking care of the property, one day at a time. If y'all liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'd appreciate a subscription. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, either way, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, or feel free to send me a private message and I will get to you as I can. And always, as always, this is Marcus out. Y'all have a good one.